today's video, I'm going to be showing you 10 things that I have incorporated into my life that have made my life easier. And I'm not saying that these 10 things are necessary by any means. I can definitely live without them, but they really have made my life easier. So I wanted to sit down and talk about them. So I just went around my house and I picked things that I use almost on a daily basis that I think have really made my life easier. So I'm going to share them with you today so yeah if you guys are interested just keep watching so the first thing is not something I'm gonna hold up because it is pretty heavy and it's full of water and it is my ninja coffee maker I love coffee specifically iced coffee I have it almost every day I know it's horrible but I really really love it and I, I didn't want to keep spending money like on Starbucks so I use the I forgot what it's called but it's like this big uh, tumbler or like jar that it comes with and this yields enough coffee for me and Roger for a pretty long time for like a couple of days so it really has made my life easier it has made me save a lot of money so I know that these things are expensive but if you calculate how much money you spend on coffee when you don't have a coffee maker then it kind of works out so all I have to do is fill it up once or twice a week and I have my coffee you know ready to go every morning so do i think it's absolutely necessary no i don't can i live without it yes i can but i would rather not this next thing is a steamer and i have this little guy which i got on amazon it's called pure steam it's full of water right now because i steamed a couple of things this morning but i feel like steaming your clothes is a lot easier and you don't need like an ironing board you just hang your clothes and you steam it and it's a lot quicker and more efficient in my opinion so i really do think that this has made my life easier this next thing i talked about in my favorites last month and it is my water bottle having to fill my water bottle is probably the number one reason why i didn't drink that much water and no matter what i did i just i was having trouble getting my water intake throughout the day so i find that having to fill my water bottle once and getting it over with definitely helps me drink water because it's just there you know i don't have to keep filling it anything to make me drink more water anything to facilitate my water intake process and on top of that this has little like motivational writing on it so i like that and it does help me. thing is actually an app and it's the flow app it looks like this and this is just an app for me to track my menstrual cycle so i know this is tmi for a lot of people but i'm just gonna be real this really has made my life easier i know more or less when i'm going to get my period i can plan accordingly you know if i'm going on vacation i know whether i'm gonna get my period or not so i know there are different apps let me know which one is your favorite down below this is the only one that i've tried and i haven't had a need to try anything else because i really like this one and it is pretty accurate so yeah flow next you guys have probably heard me talk about this a million times if you aren't new to my channel and it is this spray bottle right here and i have been on a natural hair journey since like october i don't use any heat on my hair i don't really do anything to my hair anymore uh besides like use a couple of stylers to style it so the way that i refresh my hair the following day that i do it if you guys aren't familiar with like wavy hair or curly hair routines you kind of have to refresh your hair on second day and third day in order to like bring your texture back to life because when you sleep on it it kind of goes to crap so every day in the morning if i'm not going to the gym and i actually need my hair to look somewhat presentable i just use a spray bottle sometimes i just use water other times i use a little bit of gel to like revive my hair but a spray bottle and i've tried another regular spray bottle i've tried using my hands like underneath the sink just my hands and nothing works better than this this is just i'll spray it so you see how i barely have to like continue to click it it's not a continuous spray it's not like an aerosol bottle but it is pretty close to it so i only have to click it a couple of times and it does a good job at wetting my hair i can saturate my hair if i want to and it doesn't take me forever now despite everything that i said about other things not being a necessity i really do think that if you're trying to let your hair do its thing and um 
you know, you have like texture in your hair and stuff and you put products in your hair, I really do think you need a spray bottle. <laughs> it's a necessity. In order to like, you know, make your hair look presentable, I'm not blessed enough to just wake up in the morning and have my hair look perfect. So I do have to wet it a little bit. Next is my Vitruvi diffuser and I actually have two of them now. I have one in my room and one in my like dining room slash living room because it's an open space. So it kind of covers both areas, but this has made my life easier because I don't constantly have to be buying things to make my house smell good. I just leave these diffusers on interval settings and I don't have to fill them up too often, you know? So yeah, I love buying candles, but I only buy candles now because I like to burn them. Like I like the look of them, I decorate with them, but I do not need them. I don't need to purchase things to make my house smell good. I have a bunch of different oils. So whenever I'm gonna have people over or whenever I'm done cleaning and stuff like that, I just refill the diffusers and I add in my drops and it lasts me a long time. I can't tell you how many times I've misplaced bills or papers and things because they just weren't organized so i have this area of my kitchen that was just catching all of these things all of my mail that's the first place i threw it you know everything just went there and i was getting a little tired and frustrated so i came across this little organizer at target and it just has a couple of different compartments so i just put this in that area and now i just have everything organized so this has definitely made my life easier because since I don't really have a lot of space to put like my bills in this little section that I have for it, I am like forced to sort through my bills before just placing them there, you know? And then this other little section is for any paperwork that I need to have like visible, that I need to use like within the week or the following week. For example, I have these folders for my taxes so that's their little section so this prevents me from misplacing everything you know if you just have papers everywhere you're much more likely to misplace them you just have to find ways to keep yourself organized and i also have this little compartment for my keys so now you know whenever we go in and out of the house we know exactly where our keys are i would get so stressed out about wearing all these colors that i love if you guys know me you know that i love really light colors because nine out of ten times i would stain my clothes somehow so i came across this spray right here and this is just the spray and wash and it's a stain remover and this stuff in my experience has removed almost every single stain that i've put it on so I cannot recommend this enough. So I use this right before I'm gonna wash my clothes. I talked about this in my recent video that I did on how to care for light colored furniture because when I had slip covers, I would also use this. So any stain you have, I've also used this on my rug and it lifted up the stain like magic, okay? I thought I was a freaking wizard when I used this on my rug and it like disappeared before my eyes and it was red wine. So it's amazing it really is i've gotten stains that are like a day or a couple days old and it also has removed them this has just brought so much peace into my life you know i can wear my light colors i can spend a little bit more money on better clothes more sustainable clothes and be able to take care of them granted a lot of those clothes are dry clean only but the ones that aren't if for whatever reason i do stain them i have this little guy to back me up and again i wanted to give an honorable mention to this new little guy this is the shout advanced ultra concentrated gel and it's a set in stain scrubber and this is good if you have light colored furniture that doesn't have slip covers i love having things look very clean and elegant but i also want things to be practical you know i'm not going to treat my house like a glass house either so i need backups i need like i need an army i need an army i need an army of stain removers ever since i started experimenting with cleaning up my winged eyeliner i have never looked back i go in and clean it with this brush right here and this is the real techniques detailer brush and i like this one specifically because it's kind of tapered so it has a very like thin little end and it is like a synthetic brush so it works better i've tried a couple of different brushes nothing works better than this one so i use this and i dip it into any uh, makeup remover. So I've tried a couple of makeup removers and I prefer oil-based 
makeup removers for this method because it adds a little bit more slip and it kind of drags whatever you clean a little further and it makes this really really sharp thin line that is almost impossible to achieve on your own like if you just you know unless you have like wizardy like really precise hands so what i do if i mess up or sometimes even if i don't mess up and i just want it to be extra sharp i dip this a little bit i take the excess off like on a paper towel or whatever you know and i just drag it and you want to leave it almost without any product on the tip you do not want to leave a lot of product on the tip and you want to use the tip you do not want to use like the flat edge because you're going to take off all the makeup that you have this has 100 percent made my life easier this last thing if you watch my vlogs you've probably seen me talk about a million times and they're just my gummy vitamins so putting my gummies in this ginormous container and placing it somewhere that i'm going to be every morning has really really helped me uh, actually take my vitamins and not only that but switching my vitamins to gummy vitamins is something that has really made my life easier because i actually take my vitamins now i take my vitamins every single day i look forward to it it's part of my routine i do not dread it like i did before i need to take vitamins you know it's not something that i can just not take like a lot of people out there i need to take my vitamins so using this method has made my life easier because i actually take my vitamins every day so that is everything for this video those are 10 things that i found throughout my house that i use either on a daily basis or almost on a daily basis that currently make my life a little easier thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video